I remember the first conversation I had with Greg on the telephone. He called me up and he just asked me, hey, can I, can I get your permission uh, to talk to Tyler and to do an interview with him? So first of all, I think in my mind as a parent, that shows Greg's character. Tyler adored him. Like they just had such a special bond that they just connected on a different level. And, you know, I, I mean, he came almost weekly to see Tyler and bring him whatever he wanted. And yeah, that relationship was really special. Greg gets emotionally invested in everything he writes. And when you, a Tyler type story comes along and you add in that Tyler was such a incredible person, it just sort of consumed him in the sense of he wanted to keep telling that story and he wanted to do what he could do. I don't know when we've ever had a story quite like Tyler Trent's. I don't know when we've had a better storyteller than Greg Doyle. The two were really made for each other. Tyler's tale was told nationwide and many great journalists participated in it, but nobody did it better than Greg did. Greg is an incredible writer. I mean, I, he has a, an amazing gift to be able to put words on paper and develop almost a beautiful portrait, if you will, of art. In fact, I got one of his articles framed and put on the wall just because it means so much to our family and, and the words that he used to describe Tyler and his sickness and, and their relationship. So Greg is so special to us. He loves being a, a local sports columnist. He obviously is so talented, he could do other things, but at the end of the day, he wants to be the sports columnist for Indianapolis. As well remembered as Tyler was destined to be, he will be best recalled through the exquisite, sensitive, beautiful prose that Greg Doyle brought to bear on, on telling that story.